To wind your bobbin, pull the thread so it only goes through the top eye of your sewing machine. Find the hole in your spool and stick the thread through from the inside out. Fold the tail over, wrap around a bit of thread and secure it in place. Look for the little pin in the winder and make sure that that is where the little hole goes to click it in place. Pull the knob on the left, click the spool in place in the bobbin winder. My sewing machine has a little handle to click open and release the needle when winding the bobbin. See, now it no longer moves. Push or click the bobbin winder against the balance wheel. I guide the thread with my fingers. Bobbin winders like this one tend to only fill up the middle if you use the spring and holes on top. I don't know if this is a design flaw or an age problem, but this way ensures an even winding and gives the least hassle. Make sure you don't wind the thread any wider than the two discs at the end, as this will cause the bobbin to get stuck in the shuttle. Make sure the last few centimeters are wound up close to one of the end discs. This makes it easier to thread the shuttle. Put the bobbin in the shuttle with the thread tail first. Pull the thread through the groove and hold the top of the bobbin in place with your finger. Guide the thread under the ridge, pull it slightly so it clicks into place under the spring. You really only need to open the front, but I'm opening both of these so you can see it clearly. Don't forget to put the needle back into its moving position. Make sure the shuttle house or shuttle carrier is moved all the way to the front before you insert the shuttle. Insert the shuttle with the smooth round side facing the curve of the machine. Hold the upper thread in place, move the needle once, like when sewing, to pick up the bobbin thread. Close the machine and you are ready to sew.